The woman, Nanette Packard, is accused of talking her lover into killing her millionaire boyfriend for money. Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Frere has more from the courthouse in Santa Ana, where opening statements got underway. It was a fairly packed courtroom that includes some of the victim's family members here to see a trial more than 17 years after their loved one's murder. The prosecutor told jurors Nanette Johnston, also known as Nanette Packard, allegedly lived off her 50-year-old boyfriend, Bill McLaughlin, a Newport Beach millionaire. At the time, she was 25. He took her on exotic vacations. They went on ski trips to to great ski places. Uh, she had some cosmetic surgery done that he paid for. The now 46-year-old accused of having him killed in 1994. The motive? Money. But she had a $1 million life insurance policy on Bill McLaughlin, which of course, because it's a life insurance policy, is payable only upon his death. The prosecutor alleges Johnston conspired with her lover, Eric Naposky, a former NFL linebacker, convincing him to kill McLaughlin, providing him with the keys to the house that she shared with the millionaire. And the killer then walked into his house and shot Bill six times. A day before the murder, Johnston wrote a $250,000 check from one of McLaughlin's accounts and deposited it in her account. In 1995, she was charged with grand theft for stealing close to half a million dollars before and after the murder. She pleaded guilty and was sentenced to one year in jail. She would not done, have done this to her kids, okay? This murder takes place less than two weeks before Christmas. The defense says Johnston's two children loved McLaughlin. The defense insisting Johnston did not kill him, but Naposky did. He had no money, was working as a bouncer, and was fueled by jealousy. The defense says Johnston liked the high life and got that from McLaughlin. If you're motivated by money, you're not going to kill the golden goose to be with you. Johnston's trial is expected to last about 10 days in Santa Ana. Eileen Fryer, ABC7 Eyewitness News.